morning guys um, hope you had a good weekend um, this is just an update for my headlamp uh, issue um, the other faults I will uh, talk about in January now because it will be going back in to have uh, like the wing mirror motors replaced um, and the other bits and bobs that need doing this is just going to center on the uh, headlamp issue now basically what happened was the vehicle was dropped in on the Monday morning as you see in the previous video regarding this um, sadly uh, there was some wires crossed as to what the dealer was supposed to be doing with the vehicle regarding the headlamp um, I basically did explain to the lady on the phone when I booked it in like a month or so before that that they could actually have the car for the whole week um, to actually test this out so in other words they don't, I don't just drop it off um, and then they go into a darkened area and drive back out and again and the lights go on and off that works fine this is about from the morning time when I don't know what the problem is where it's been on for a few hours um, and the headlamps have got used to being on um, or the circuitry's got used to being on I don't know I'm not an electrical engineer um, but basically then they don't turn off um, in varying degrees of uh, daylight so the plan was to let them have it for the week they could go out I'll drop it in on the Monday have a look at the other faults on that date and then the Tuesday Wednesday Thursday whatever they needed to do for the rest of the week they could then test it in the mornings and see that there's a problem um, that I then picked the vehicle up and they had no fault found so I got in touch with Nissan customer services and cut long story short I basically sent one of the representatives to two links to my channel regarding the light issue um, she then reviewed that and then sent them on to one of the uh, engineers the chief engineer I believe uh, he or she was and um, they then come back and said um, apparently they watched the videos and said it's working as intended now first of all it's not clearly working as intended and I'll come to that in a moment but the, the problem is like I said before my second infotainment screen is dim can't view none of the information on it um, and Nissan if you're watching this if it's working as intended why do we need daytime running lights as well as headlamps isn't the whole point of having daytime running lights meaning that we don't need to leave our headlamps on previously before we had daytime running lights no other manufacturer actually does that um, so if this engineer is saying they're working as intended can he or she explain to me why no other car in the Nissan range or any other manufacturer for that example I mean I've got Mercedes come towards me BMW coming towards me a Skoda uh, Ram, Jaguar I-Pace another BMW all got daytime running lights haven't got the headlamps on so I don't know what that's all about but hey ho let's just stick with it for the moment so um, yeah so basically um, they're basically uh, passing the buck uh, the bottom line is now the other point I wanted to make uh, regarding um, if this is a non-issue to this engineer, if they've re-watched this video, and if they watched my first video when I first actually done the full stopping the vehicle and turning the vehicle off and clearing it, if Mr. Engineer or Mrs. Engineer they're working as intended, surely when I stop the vehicle and it clears it, if it's working as intended, shouldn't them headlamps come back on again? Because they stay off after that maybe they didn't watch the videos who knows but anyway um, that's the ace up my sleeve basically because when they come back to me because I've actually subsequently sent an email back and I'm actually quite shocked with all of the above that I've just mentioned to you guys uh, why that they think that there's no fault when there clearly is um, otherwise it, they'd come back on again and they don't once you've reset the vehicle they stay off unless you go under a very very light um, when I say light, like a, a, a very, very light tree-lined road, and then they'll come back on again, and then they probably won't switch off again until you actually stop the vehicle, reset it, and then you go into an open area again, where there's no, uh, say, um, darkened areas. I mean, in underground car parks, guys, and you come out in the daylight, they work fine, fine, that's flawless. That's what they had in the main dealership when I dropped the car in. It was dropped in, and they basically went into the, uh, the garage repair place, and the lights come on when they come out lights went off that's fine this is not about that I, I explained this on the phone that it does that fine it's during the mornings when I've started the vehicle run it for two or three hours and then you go from the transition from say dark into say daybreak and then a light they're not turning off as you've seen clearly on one of my videos at what was it 11 o'clock in the morning 
broad daylight, sun's above the houses, it still won't turn off. So there's obviously a sensor problem, but like I explained to the representative, because I said I'm quite shocked at their response, that they haven't even done any investigatory work in what personally I think they should have done, is first of all replace the sensor. That should have been the, the first thing they should have done immediately, because the reason I say about the sensor, and I did mention this in an email to, the, to this lady, is that the four main settings on the infotainment screen, the secondary screen in front of me next to the speedo, there's four light settings, like in terms of when they activate, I think it's uh, earlier, earliest, late, later, or something like that, and not one of them has an effect on the sensor. So either the sensor's not working properly in the first place, or maybe there's a, a problem between the sensor and the software and these settings. Don't know, like I said back there, I'm not an electrical engineer. That's for Nissan to sort out. But the, the fact that they've basically just come out and said it's working as intended, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it, guys. And like I mentioned before, I hold a full motorcycle license. Admittedly, I haven't rode for a few good number of years now. But the fact, and I appreciate there's only a very limited amount of leafs on the road at the moment, although I have actually seen a lot on the road since I've actually taken delivery of this, I see at least one a day in the town where I work. I um, mean, it's not the same one, there's quite a few different ones. There's the same ones I see. But the point I wanted to make is that because the headlamps stay on, um, my vehicle is not differentiating itself between that and motorcyclists that have their headlamps on. And I do, for this reason, actually turn my light now, I've got them on the side lights, um, to turn the main beams off. So if a motorcycle does come past my vehicle, he's gonna stand out amongst the traffic. That's the whole reason why motorcyclists, if you're a non-motorcyclist, or you don't know about these things, that's why motorcyclists put their headlamps on. So then they stand out. It's like a visual C and B scene, as we were taught when we done our test years ago. Um, but, so yeah, so I've kind of counted that already. But the fact that, and I explained this when I was on the phone to this representative as well, um, the week we got the car back, as another reason why, um, obviously, they need to get this sorted out because there's more of these become on the road if they don't do a stock update on the 2019 model and they continue with this in my opinion the most stupid system ever i mean when you go in to have work done in a garage the lights are going to come on which means my bulbs are going to burn out all the time which i explained before so i'm not going to repeat myself but that's all of the things there's many many reasons why this sensor needs to be looked at because it's not working as intended obviously didn't watch this video. No way did that engineer look at them videos, because otherwise, they must have known that I was gonna come back and mention what I've just said to you guys in the fact that if it's working and intended, they'll come straight back on again. They don't, they don't come back on. If I stop this car now and turn it off, it's daybreak, these lights, unless I go under, under a, like, a tree-lined road or it becomes overcast, then they might come back on again. But as soon as it becomes daylight, they, they go straight, they work fine. Um, and like I said when I first started this video, I don't know if it's because the uh, electricity or the sensors have been used to being in a darkened state. They just aren't becoming or accepting light. I don't know. Not, I ain't got a clue. All I know is the car's got a problem and it's causing a lot of issues. Um, and it's like, obviously I can press the moon and the sun icon and actually bring up the main infotainment screen uh, with a button. But sadly, I can't do that with the um, secondary infotainment screen because what I'll have to do is actually use the dashboard elimination lights to go press, 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 just bring it brighter and then in the next morning it'll be like mega bright and I've got to go down, down, down. Customers shouldn't have to do that, guys. It's just ridiculous. Um, and the fact that they're just basically doing it as a cop-out, it's like smacks of uh, negligence. And Nissan obviously know there's a problem, whether it's gonna affect every leaf out there and it's gonna cost them a lot of money. Every manufacturer has a contingency fund for when things go wrong. I assume they still do. Um, they did years ago. Um, but like I say, that's where we are right now, guys. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from the email I sent to the customer service agent uh, on Friday. When I get a response back, I will give you an update. But until then, I'm not holding my breath. Um, anyway guys, I hope you have a good day and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.